back to my channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my record collection series with my 12 inch records from B to C. So if you guys have not seen any of my record collection videos, I have a playlist that I will link down below. I've done my 7 inch collection, my 10 inch collection, and I did numbers and A in the last collection video, and in this collection video I'm doing B and C. The information that I'll be giving you on these records is I'll be telling you the pressing information, where I got them from, and my favorite track off of each. I hope I can narrow it down to one track off of each record, but I make no promises. I did pretty good with that in my last video, so yeah, anyway. I hope you guys like this video. I think that they're very fun. If you guys like record collections and any music related talk, feel free to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you all enjoyed it. And in the comments below, let me know some things that you guys have picked up recently because I'm all about being nosy and knowing what everybody has in their collection because I like to know. So yeah, let's just get started. So starting off with Basement, I have their album Promise Everything, and this album I actually got into thanks to Hannah from Infinity on Hannah. She kept talking about Basement, and I don't know, this album artwork is really cool, but I did not listen to them for the longest time, and I finally sat down and listened to this album, and I fell in love with it, and I immediately bought it on vinyl, and I actually have the gold copy. I got this one off of Discogs. I didn't really know there was a gold copy of the record, and uh... Then I seen it and I was like, heck to the yes, because I love gold vinyl. And my favorite song off of this album is For You, The Moon. Next, this one I got at my local record store on Black Friday Record Store Day. I think it was like 2015 maybe, 2015, 2016, I honestly can't remember. But this is The Beach Boys Becoming The Beach Boys, and I have the like golden, yellow, orange copy. I don't know. It's supposed to be yellow, but to me it looks more orange. But this has the same few songs on side A as it does on side B. But it's really cool because side A you have alternate takes and demos of the songs and side B you have like the actual master copy of the song that's on like the CDs and the records and all that kind of fun stuff which I think is super cool and my favorite one off of this one is Surfer Girl. My grandparents got me this next one for Christmas 2016 and it is Beach Laying the Things We Do to Find People Who Feel Like Us. I love this album. I actually found Beach Slang through their sophomore album when everyone was talking about it and I was like, okay, so if this is their sophomore album, what's their debut album? So I looked at this up, really more like garage rock, grunge kind of inspired, so if you like that genre, I highly recommend Beach Slang if you've not listened to them. But my grandparents heard me talking about this and they got me this for Christmas and I was just beyond excited for this. The whole aesthetic of this album is like purple and blue and the inside is really cool because it's got this black and white photo and of course the back has the same beautiful aesthetic and the record itself is purple marble which fits the whole aesthetic of this album just perfectly. And my favorite song off of this is Porno Love. Since I raved so much about them, obviously you guys know I have to have their sophomore album. This is Beach Slang's A Loud Bash of Teenage Feelings. This one again has like the same really cool aesthetic. It's got, but this aesthetic is blue and green as you can see. And it's like so pretty. Again, the inside has a black and white photo. And of course the aesthetic continues. It's so beautiful. This one I actually bought for myself. And this is a blue copy, and I actually found it at Barnes & Noble, and it's so pretty. There's a little bit of marble in this one, but it's not as marbled as their other album, which I think is kind of sad. But either way, I still really love this, and I think it's an amazing record. And my favorite song off this is Atom Bomb. Now for my Beatles collection. The first one I have is Introducing the Beatles. This one I got off of Discogs, and I just found it on a whim. And it was pretty inexpensive and it's in super good condition and I couldn't pass it up when I seen it. My favorite song off this one is A Taste of Honey. Then my best friend Cassie got me this one and this is The Beatles' A Hard Day's Night. She got me this one for Christmas 2017. My favorite song off this is A Hard Day's Night. I'm gonna be basic and say that's my favorite. Then for my 17th birthday, my grandparents got me Rubber Soul by The Beatles, which is probably my favorite Beatles album. It's between this and Revolver, to be honest. This album is incredible. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. 
Therefore, it's gonna be hard to pick a favorite off this. I think my favorite off this is probably In My Life, but I don't know because there's so many good ones on here. This one is one of the first ones that I ever bought off of eBay, and I actually wanted it in an auction for like $4, I think. It wasn't very expensive, but it is The Beatles' Yesterday and Today. My favorite song off this is probably Yesterday. I'm gonna have to be basic again. Then I have The Beatles' Abbey Road. And why would I not have this in my collection? This is an iconic album. This is classic. I feel like everybody has this in their collection, even if they really don't listen to the Beatles. But this one I actually got at FYE. My favorite song off of this is Maxwell's Silver Hammer. And the other record that my friend Cassie got for me for Christmas last year was Let It Be by the Beatles. And this one I was super excited for as well, because, you know, obviously I like the Beatles. But this has a lot of my favorite songs on it, so again, this one's really hard for me to pick a favorite off of because I have a lot of favorite Beatles songs, and they made a lot of songs, and it's hard to pick just one off of an album. I'd probably say Across the Universe is my favorite on here. The next one I have is Free Things Are Cool by Beck, and this is actually on a brown and yellow split vinyl, and it's one of the coolest records I have just because it's on brown vinyl, and I don't know... I think I only have like one other record on brown vinyl and you never see brown vinyl and I think it's really cool. But this is like a radio podcast kind of thing. It's live at Chaos Olympia Community Radio on January 26, 1994. So therefore I'm not going to say a favorite off of it, but I seen it sitting in my record store. It was super inexpensive and I picked it up immediately. This next one was also a gift from my grandparents for Christmas uh, when they gave me the beach slang record that I showed you all. And this is the Dreams single from Beck. This is on blue vinyl. and. This song is on here in three different ways. So it has like the master version of the song, an acapella version, and an instrumental version of the song. So you kind of get to see each part and then you get to see it when the parts are put together, which I think is super cool. And of course, since I have the Dream single, I have to have the album that Dreams is on. That's his newest album, Colors. And this is incredible. I got this at my local record store. It's on the indie record store exclusive yellow vinyl, which is super cool. I love getting indie record store exclusive stuff because support your local record store, yeah. And my favorite song off here is probably Up All Night. I, there's so many good ones on here though. I have so many favorites on this. Then one of my mom's friends actually got me this as a graduation gift and she told me she got this for Christmas when she was 13 so I was kind of like, oh no, oh no, what is it gonna be? And uh, turns out it's a record, and this is the Bee Gees' greatest. And uh, I always want to say it's the greatest hits, but it's not. But this is a really cool trifold. You open it up, and it's got all of their faces in it, and it's like so freaking cool. And my favorite song off of this is probably Too Much Heaven. This next one I got at FYE in the bargain bin, like the red dot section. I was like, girl, what? And it is. California Nights by Best Coast. My favorite song off this is probably Jealousy. Next, this one's gonna be kind of different uh, for my collection. I don't really have any records like this. And uh, it's Billy Joe Armstrong and Nora Jones for Everly. <laughs> and this is actually a tribute album to the Everly Brothers, Songs Our Daddy Taught Us. This has the same track listing as that album, the only difference is the track list on here is a little mixed up from that track list, like they're not all in the same order. Um, I did a little research on this just because I live in Kentucky, but I'm not a big country music fan and like I feel like everyone wants to crucify me when I say that. But the Everly Brothers are super big here in Kentucky, they're from Kentucky, uh, so it's kind of a big deal and uh, they're a big deal around here and it's kind of a big deal if you say you don't like them. which. I'm not a big fan of them, but I've listened to them plenty of times just because of my grandparents. And uh, I seen that they had did this tribute album and I mean it's just incredible. All these pictures are so beautiful. Even this picture on the back is beautiful of him. I just, I love it. My favorite song off of this is Kentucky. It's the one song that I knew by heart on this album just because I've heard it so many times. and. I listened to that song first and then I listened to the album all the way through after my jaw dropped listening to that song. To me it took me a while to get into this because I never wanted to listen to it when it first came out and just because I feel like Billy Joe should just stick to Green Day and I was like this is not going to be good, he's going to try it country and I just stick to Green Day. But I listened to it and it was beautiful. It's 
incredibly beautiful. I take back every word I said. I think Billy Joe Armstrong can literally sing anything and I will buy it at this point because that's how obsessed I am with him. The next, I actually took this one from my mom's collection and it is 52nd Street by Billy Joel. I didn't know any songs off of this album, but I knew quite a few Billy Joel songs because my mom listened to Billy Joel when I was younger. And my favorite song off this album is probably My Life. Also, since I love that album so much, I sing Glass Houses by Billy Joel. Pretty cheap on Discogs. I was trying to get free shipping on an order on Discogs and I seen this one and I was like, hey, I liked that Billy Joel album and I've heard a lot about this Billy Joel album, so why not try it out? So I picked it up and I really liked it. I actually did know a few songs off of this album when I got it. My favorite is probably Don't Ask Me Why. The next artist I have to talk about is Blackstone Cherry. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through their discography with you. And I want you guys to tell me if this is as weird as I think it is. So their first album is a self-titled album called Blackstone Cherry. And it's not pressed on vinyl. Their second album is called Folklore and Superstition. And this album is so beautiful. It's one of... I can't describe how much I love this album. They are literally babies on this picture on the inside. I literally just... <sighs> so sad. Because they're grown They're grown now. I mean, they're, they were grown then, but they're just even more grown now. And this album is actually only pressed over in Europe. I can't remember if it was pressed in Germany or England, but they're super big over in the UK and in Germany and a lot of countries over in Europe like are obsessed with these guys, okay? But they're actually from Kentucky, but they're not that big in the States, which I think is really sad, but anyway, this was pressed over there, so I had to get this from Germany. I literally paid money to get this over here from Germany. So uh, not only did I pay money for that album to get shipped over here, I also paid money for their third album, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, to get shipped over here from Germany because it's got the same deal on it as well. It's only pressed over in Europe and it's so sad because this album, this album is my favorite. It's my favorite thing they've ever written and done in my entire, it's just, it's beautiful. I love this, and if you have never listened to Blackstone Cherry, I recommend this album because it is incredible. But my favorite song off of this one is All I'm Dreaming Of, and it is the most beautiful song I've ever heard in my entire life. I love it so much. Then their fourth album is called Magic Mountain, and that's not pressed on vinyl at all, and it saddens me because it's so good. But their fifth album, this actually came out in 2016, and it is called Kentucky. And if you can't tell, I have it signed by all of them when I uh, went to see them. I have the red copy of this, which is really cool. I got it at FYE uh, in the new releases because I wanted the cherry red copy of it because I am, like, stupid. And so I paid a little bit more than most of the variants go for, but I wanted the red copy. And my favorite song off of this is The Rambler. Last September, they released the Back to Blues EP, which is on blue vinyl. And my dad actually got me this as part of my birthday present. I opened my little card and there was a picture of this in there. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited because I was going to order the vinyl copy. It cost $15, but it cost $10 to ship it. So I didn't get it. But my dad ended up getting, like, the CD and stuff and got me this. And I was so excited because... It's beautiful. And my favorite song off of this is Champagne and Reefer. And they also have a new album coming out in April of this year, and I am so stoked for it. I cannot wait. Bleachers, uh, Don't Take the Money single. And this is on clear vinyl. It's really, really cool. It has Don't Take the Money on it. But what's really cool about it is uh, I also got their album Gone Now, and this is on white with red smoke, marble, whatever kind of thing. But uh, I was at a record store up in Louisville, Kentucky, and I seen this, like, sitting there, and I was like, oh, hey, that's cool. And I was like, oh, it's $23. That's not bad. And then I picked it up, and I was like, wait, why is it so heavy? And I noticed this was in there, and I was like, bless you. Bless you. So I ended up getting this. I was so excited. This usually goes for like 15 to 20 dollars alone. My favorite song off of this album is probably Goodbye. Oh, and the inside of this record is really cool. I just love all the like pianos and stuff on the inside of this. Buddha, and this one I actually got off of eBay because I wanted all the Hot Topic splatter copies of these records and 
I had all of them that were available on Hot Topic at the time because right after I got my record player, they took literally all of them off the website except the ones that I already had. So I was like, that's cool because I was going to get this um, off their website after my birthday because I didn't know if anybody got it for me because I said I wanted to get some of the Blink-182 Hot Topic Splatter copy records and I didn't know if anybody got this for me so I didn't want to buy it and somebody get it for me but I should have bought it. But anyway, this is the Hot Topic Splatter copy of the album and my favorite song off of this is Romeo and Rebecca. My mom actually got me this one for my 17th birthday and it is Cheshire Cat. This is also the Hot Topic splatter copy. The gatefold on this is super pretty. I love it. I don't know why I like this one, but I just like the pictures and then I think they're really cool. Um, also love cats, so one of my favorite album covers ever. But I was super excited to get this because my mom literally spoils me. I was gonna buy it off of eBay and she told me, she goes, did you buy that off of eBay? I said, no, and uh, I'm pretty sure she bought the same copy I was looking at on eBay. And my favorite song off of this one is Peggy Sue. Then I was about to actually buy this one off of eBay, and Hot Topic sent me an email and saved me from spending like 20 extra dollars on this album, and it is Dude Ranch. <laughs> so this is the Hot Topic exclusive splatter copy, and uh, it's really cool. There's like this really cool like postcard theme, like postcard western theme, which is really cool, uh, going on here. I love it. My favorite song off of this album is Dick Lips. It's, I love it. Okay, don't judge me. Uh, so when this album came out on Hot Topic's website, I jumped on it because I was not going to pay like a hundred dollars on eBay for this shit because I'm not that freaking retarded. And, um, uh, it's Enema of the State by Blink-182. This album is incredible. It's beautiful. It's the Hot Topic Splatter copy. I don't know why I have to keep saying that, but I love the pictures on the inside. I think it's really funny. I'm so stupid. I also love the picture on the back because I'm like trash, okay? I'm trash for these guys. <laughs> but my favorite song off this, I feel like no matter what I say my favorite song off this is, I'm going to be like getting those comments. You're not a real fan of Blink-182. You really don't like Blink-182 because that's your favorite song. Okay, no, it's just my favorite song off of the album, okay? My favorite song off this album is Adam's song. And then I have the Mark, Tom, and Travis show, which I also got at Hot Topic on Hot Topic exclusive splatter vinyl, which is really pretty. I love the artwork for this. And then on the inside, it has like all the credits and stuff, which is really cool. But I just love like the whole concert aesthetic of this. I'm not gonna say a favorite because there's obviously like live songs on here, but there's a lot of like banter and stuff as well, just like live banter. So I'm not gonna say a favorite off this album just because of that, but yeah. And this one my mom actually got me for my 16th birthday, and I was so glad I didn't buy this one. It's my favorite Blink 182 album, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. And it's beautiful on the inside, it's got some beautiful pictures of the guys. And uh, my favorite song off this album is definitely The Rock Show. I love this album. It's incredible. It's on a beautiful splatter vinyl. Hot Topic really comes through with the splatter vinyl, I swear. And my mom also got me this one for my 16th birthday, and it is their self-titled album on a beautiful Hot Topic splatter vinyl. I love it so much. It's beautiful. The gatefold on this is really cool. I love all the different colored pictures in it. So pretty. And, uh... My favorite song off this is I'm Lost Without You. And then I have Blink-182's Greatest Hits, which my mom actually got for me for Valentine's Day or Easter, I can't remember, but this came out on Hot Topic's website somewhere around there. So yes, this is a Hot Topic splatter copy. You're gonna get tired of hearing me say that, okay? But I said I was gonna get it, but then I was like, nah, I really don't need it. And then my mom asked me if I got it, and I said no, and she bought it. And I was like, thanks, mom. I love you. It's so great. The inside of this has some really cool pictures and lyrics in it. My favorite song off this is The Rock Show. I, I love that song. Anything that's on is gonna be my favorite, okay? Then I have Neighborhoods by Blink-182, which, like I said, after my 16th birthday, I was gonna order some more Blink-182 records. This was the only one I ended up ordering because it was the only one on the website I didn't have and I was like, okay, that's cool. So this is the Hot Topic splatter copy and the gatefold on this is like really cool. It opens up and it's got the beautiful guys in here. Ugh, my life. Uh, my favorite song off this is Up All Night. Then I have California by Blink-182. And uh, this is on the Hot Topic splatter copy vinyl. This is on the Hot Topic splatter vinyl. I don't know why that surprises anyone at this point, 
but yeah, I, I'm trash for them if you can't tell. My favorite song off of this album is Los Angeles. If I'm not trash enough already, I have a second copy of California, but this is California Deluxe. And I got this one off of the Blink-182 uh, merch store because that's the only place I really know that they had this really cool copy. And they had four different colors. I chose the green copy. It's so beautiful. I love it. Guys, this gatefold. Are you ready? You ain't even ready. Uh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> My heart just... This album has... Um, so on the first disc, it has like the normal California album. So I'm not going to pick a favorite off of that. I'm going to pick a favorite from the deluxe tracks, which are on the second disc. There's like 10, 11 deluxe tracks. I can't even remember. But yeah, they could have released a whole new album instead of just doing a deluxe version. But anyway, they're extra. My favorite song off this is Bottom of the Ocean. It's great. This one I actually got in a record subscription service, and this is Four by Block Party. It's on standard black vinyl, and my favorite song off this is Octopus. My boyfriend got me this one at our local record store, and it is Blood Bank by Bon Iver. I absolutely love Bon Iver, and I realized I didn't have anything from him in my collection, and my boyfriend got this for me, and I was super excited. And my favorite song off of this is... Beach Baby. Then I have Boston's self-titled album. I got this one off of Discogs. It was pretty cheap. I feel like this is a classic. And my favorite song off this is Hitch a Ride. Then I have Brand New's Daisy and this is the Hot Topic exclusive green vinyl which is really cool. This is probably my favorite brand new album of all time. I absolutely adore this album. It's beautiful. My favorite song off of this is Gasoline. And then when I was at a record store up in Louisville, I seen science fiction for sale. And I tried so hard to get the red and blue copy, like one red disc, one blue disc. But every website kept crashing on me and I was so sad. So when I seen this sitting there, I was like, is it a dream? Is it a dream? And I even told my mom, I was like, is that a dream? Is, is that, is that blue and red? And she's like, yeah, that's what it says. And I was like, ah. so I immediately snatched it and took it home with me because it's great. I love this album. It's incredible. Your song is probably no control. And by the way, the gatefold on this is super cool. You guys, I don't know why I think this is super cool. I just think it's super cool. This next record I also got in a record subscription service and it is Indefinite by Brigades. And this is on black vinyl with a hot pink like blob and then blue and white splatter. It's really pretty. It's really cool. And my favorite song off of this is probably Enemy. Then I have Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. It's beautiful. It's obviously beautiful because it's Bruce Springsteen. Duh. Like, I mean, come on. It's Springsteen. Who doesn't like Springsteen? My favorite song on this is Backstreet. But this one I got off of Discogs. Pretty inexpensive. And I obviously have to have Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. This one I also got off Discogs. Pretty inexpensive. And my favorite song on this one is Working on the Highway. Then I have Tapestry by Carole King. And uh, this one I got on Discogs. Pretty inexpensive as well. I love the gatefold on this. I think it's really cool. And my favorite song off this album is Where You Lead. Then I have Rhymes and Reasons by Carol King, which again has another beautiful gatefold. And this one I also got off of Discogs, and it was super inexpensive. I couldn't help it. My favorite song off this album is Stand Behind Me. I have Youth by Citizen, which I got off of Amazon, and this is on white vinyl. Citizen is one of my favorites. I highly recommend listening to Citizen if you guys have not, because they're incredible. My favorite song off this is The Summer. I have Citizen, Everybody's Going to Heaven. I actually got this one off of a Facebook group. I will link it down below. They have like pop punk and emo like merch. There's like vinyl, there's CDs, there's cassettes, there's like hoodies and flags and t-shirts. It's a really cool website. And I got the tricolor blue, white, and gray one. Super cheap on there. And I was like, yes, girl. I got it for like $10, I think. It was like, I got three records for like $30. So I guess by the time you include shipping and stuff, I got them all for under 10, which was super cool. But yeah, I was super excited when I got it. My favorite song off this is Heaven Side. And then I pre-ordered As You Please because 
obviously I like Citizen. And this one is red with a black and white splatter, which is super cool. I love it. It's one of my favorite colored records because it's just so pretty. And my favorite song off this album is Control. And then I have Color by Number by Culture Club. This one I got off of Discogs and it was like really inexpensive. And my favorite song off this is Church of the Poison Mine. And the last record in my collection is Culture Club, Waking Up with the House on Fire. This one I got at one of my local record stores, pretty inexpensive. And it was actually still sealed when I got it and I was like, that's cool. And my favorite song off of this is Dangerous Man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Let's fall back in love with the world who we are and do the things we talked about but never did before. And darling, don't blame because you will and where you will be.